at uh, Murphy's and Arnold as you go by. That sounds like a great time. Look, it's our smart money financial analyst, Keith Springer. Keith, you ready to tackle some viewer questions? Always ready. Let's get right to it. Our first question uh, is this one. Somebody writes in, will the stock market, or what will the stock market do if we solve the fiscal cliff in time? And what will it do if we don't? Wow, great question. And another one, another question for the, for the two-minute answer. Yeah. Uh, basically, I think the market is actually reacting now, believing that the fiscal cliff is going to be solved before the end of the year, which is why we're seeing it start to go up. If we do solve it, stocks should go up quite a bit. If we don't, stocks will go down quite a bit because it's going to mean uh, a lot of tax tax increases yeah. and spending cuts in a hurry. And that's going to be very bad for the economy. A lot, a lot less money in the market. A lot uh, less money in the market. A lot well. less money in the economy. Yes. Okay. Uh, second question: The Federal Reserve keeps printing more and more money. Do you think we'll get runaway inflation next year? I was listening to an economist yesterday who said yes, they're quite sure that'll happen. But I think you're going to say no. I think I'm going to say no right away. I, I expect that to be about two or three years down the road. Right in, now, inflation. Inflation. Okay. Uh, a few years. For, for a number of years, we've still got deflation. We've still got a baby boomer generation past their peak spending, no spending in the economy. So we. Have have prices going down. That's why we're not seeing any. It's a great question. It might be the biggest question I get from clients is, are we going to see inflation? And no, I don't think so for two or three years. Three years from now, I think it goes through the roof. Yeah, I think, I mean, that's yeah. just so intuitive. We're printing, I mean, the Fed just is going to keep pumping $40 billion a, 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 what, a, a month out there? Actually, it's $85 billion. QE4, which they did last oh. week, added on top of the $45 billion from QE3. Yeah. So I don't know, the QE3 and QE4, are we at the QE7 now? I'm not we're, quite sure. <laughs> we're wearing out the printing press, <laughs> I man. think we are. A good answer. Keith, thank, thank you very much. If you have a question for Keith Springer uh, about anything, you can send us an email, money at fox40.com. He'll tackle it here on the couch. If it's a personal question, pick up the phone and give him a ring at 925-8900. we got to run here. Uh, so many questions remain unanswered following, of course, the uh, shooting last Friday in Connecticut. Uh, we're now hearing of a possible motive. We'll tell you what investigation.